I am here with Hayley Tamadon, who is our brilliant favourite showbiz northerner, <laughs> and she has been in so many things, flying the flag from Emmerdale to Coronation Street, and obviously winning Dancing on Ice. But Hayley is also absolutely fantastic in musicals um, from shows such as Grease, Mamma Mia, Rocky Horror, and now is touring in Everybody's Talking About Jamie across the UK, but it is coming right here to the Lowry in September. So we're very excited about this, and thank you for chatting with us, Hayley. Thank you for having me. We're very, very excited. So, Jamie, loads of people know all about this musical because it's a really, really popular one, but for those who have still got the joy and the glory of um, sort of learning about it for the first time. Can you tell us who is Jamie and why is everyone talking about it? <laughs> um, so the story of Jamie is a true story mm -hmm. and, uh, based on um, a young boy who wanted to go to his prom in a dress and he was bullied and nobody believed him you know and his teachers weren't great with him and he had an extremely supportive mom, and I've met them. They're just How beautiful you? people. And so this story is really important because not just because it's true, but also because it's about hope and love and being able to be who you want to be. And, and we still live in a society where we're not quite there with that yet, you know? And so you will come and watch this show you will want to sing because the songs are phenomenal. Uh -huh. <laughs> you will want to cry. You will want to laugh so hard. You will want to get up out of your seat and dance. And that is what this show is about. Absolutely. And you mentioned, obviously, teachers along the way there. So you play Miss Hedge, who isn't always the nicest to Jamie, let's say that. Um, but we kind of get the impression, not that it's an excuse, but she has kind of some of her own demons along the way, maybe as well. So could you maybe tell us a little bit about Miss Hedge? Miss Hedge is, she's just, you know, she works in a very northern Sheffield school where all the kids dream about being pop stars and being on X Factor and she is over it. She's very <laughs> cynical, she's very bitter and she's a bit like, listen, I wish I could tell you that your dreams are going to come true, but they're not. And she's like straightforward, yeah. to just blunt. So she's a bit over it with the kids and especially with someone like Jamie, you know, she's like, what's your dream? And he's like, I want to be a drag queen, you know, and for that sentence to come out of a kid's yeah. mouth, you know, but she doesn't argue that case. She's straight away like, but that's not real. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not real life. So what are you going to do with your life? So it is, and then the end of the show, there is a really beautiful little twist. And, um, you know, you kind of, every character in the show has a journey. Mm -hmm. And that's what's beautiful about it. Of course, it's Jamie's story, but then there is also the story of Jamie's best friend, Pity. Yes. And then there's the story of the teacher. And then there's the story of Jamie's mom and mm -hmm. dad. And, you know, there's this beautiful arc throughout that makes you go like that and then go, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, you you know, we live in... Um, we live in a society at the moment where people are still struggling to be their authentic self through fear and we that's that's not okay you know you should be able to be in 2023 who you want to be absolutely and so this story is really important it really is yeah and um that's even though she's kind of a disliked character at times by some people out there um that, like you just said, it, it's important that she's there because it kind of holds that mirror up, doesn't it, mm -hmm. to where we need to grow, where we've still got um, things that, as a society that we need yeah. to learn. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid at school, you know, and I told my teachers what I was going to do, that they, a lot of them said, we will never make it, <laughs> and you've not done well in your GCSEs, so you, that was yeah. their answer, And but for me, all that did was spur me on, yes. you know, I, I will make it, <laughs> you let me show you. You know, and now you get to a certain age and all those teachers were like, do you want to come back to our school and do a talk? And he was like, I had that same experience. Yes. Remember when you <laughs> said I'd never make it? Well, I did. Hi. <laughs> so, you know, it's, yeah, it, it, it is just having that dream and that determination and Jamie, Jamie knew it, he knew exactly what he wanted to do with his life and he was going to set out somehow to make that happen. He was, he was and, and as we say the rest is history because look yeah. at what's come from I it. know, it's incredible. how insane is that? Yeah. Um, with Miss Hedge kind of not always being liked um, and having at the start, not all the way through but at the start 
um, questionable views, let's mm. say, um, about Jamie's choices and what she does to him. When that's not who you are as a person, how do you kind of assimilate that when you're, because obviously you've got to really get on board with this character to play truthfully, so yeah. how, how do you do that? Well, I remember, because I did the show in the West End 2019, and um, I remember the director even then saying, you're too warm, you're too warm, <laughs> bring it back. And because um, I am, you know, I, if that was me in real life, my arms would be wrapped around that kid and yes. I'd do everything I could to protect. But I have to fight against that, which is really hard. So even, you know, there's a moment in rehearsals years ago when I said something and I put my hand on his shoulder, on Jamie's shoulder, and the director went, no, she wouldn't <laughs> touch him. She just isn't like that, you know. So it's just, that's the best bit about being an actor. You get to play with these characters and you get to become different people. And I love that so much. So, yeah, it... It's a, it's a nice one. It's a nice part to play, yes. and I love playing against what I usually am. Yes, yeah. And you, you kind of touched on it already, but the there's like so many different themes in this, isn't there? You've got like you've got bigotry, you've got bullying, you've got racism, you've got um, absent fathers, and all mm. these different things. Having said that, that makes it sound really miserable, and it absolutely is not. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> it's anything other than miserable. Absolutely, it's a it's a real life story, yeah. and regardless, you will sit there, and I'm sure there's so many of us have been bullied in our lives for something or other. You know, you regardless of how you feel, you will come into that show, you will love every single second, and I've never ever met one person that has not liked every story yeah. about Jamie. You can't help but be <laughs> laughing and smiling when you walk out of that theatre. You know, it's so lifting, you know, it really lifts you. It really is, and like you say, it's because probably it's based on real people, yeah. but brilliant, brilliant writing and characters as The writing well. is second to none by yeah. Tom McRae, and the songs are superb by Dan Gillespie Sells from The Feeling. So, yes. you know, if you ever liked The Feeling, you kind of know what these songs are going to be like. They're just insane. Um, and, you know, this this is a what I like to call a safe space yes. for, with this musical. You can come to watch this show and you will be safe in our theatre, mm -hmm. wherever, wherever that may be across the tour. There are, you know, it, it, you don't always feel safe in the LGBTQ community, uh, community, sorry, um, not everybody feels like they're visible, and that's really sad, you know. But when you come to this show, you can be who you want to be, yeah. and sit in that theatre and feel loved, and that's really important. And I think that's really highlighted in the show by the fact that you've got these amazing people who believe in Jamie around it, like Margaret, Pretty Ray, and I, and I think it goes to show that for you know you've got all of these crazy in the world mm -hmm. that people face but if you've got those brilliant people in your life who believe in you and support you then it's just like be gone to the other people because you can you've got that support and i think everybody needs a ray in their life personally yeah. <laughs> everyone needs a ray and everyone needs a pretty yes because yeah. when you're a kid at school it's the hardest time and if you're slightly different and i i was slightly different you are opening yourself up for that interrogation, the bullying, the, you know, kids can be, what this show does, and especially we've had kids come, teenagers, I say kids, teenagers yeah. come, we've had gay, gay, gay kids come with their parents, and the parents have gone, thank you so <laughs> much, you have given him some, something to hold on to, you know, and then we've had kids that maybe have bullied other kids in the past, and then apologise and understand right. where they, this is this is progress. This yes. is what we need. This is what we want. It is. It's brilliant. And when you're doing it, like you've mentioned, through these amazing catchy songs. I mean, even like someone said to me the other day when the new one was doing this, oh, what's your favourite Jamie song? And I was like, well, today, yeah, yeah. <laughs> today it's over the wall. Yeah. Um, but then this morning, I've just been singing Superstar all morning. So it's like, each, I think it. They're so cathartic, aren't they, yeah. as well, that they can change. So it's a bit of an impossible question, but do you have, maybe not an overall favourite, but maybe one that you're feeling today? The, it's always the opening number for me. Yeah. It gives me goosebumps every time I hear it. The the music, the band, oh my word. Mm -hmm. And when, when you hear that opening number and you see it on the stage, the hairs go up on your arms. 
that's the number for me that will always get me every single time with that show. That show. Well, there you go. So that's one to watch out for. And it just it does not stop. It doesn't go like, oh, you've had the best. No, it just keeps going and going and giving yeah. and giving. Um, so this cast, so we've got, like, obviously you've done it before. We've got Sean and Goata coming back mm. in. Um, we've got new Jamies. We've got new Hugos. We've got, so her, with the mix, do you think when you get kind of that mix of, um, people are coming in for the first time and then sort of alumni Jamie people it yeah. brings something really special and magical yeah. I mean it's nice you know it's, I'm I'm honoured to have been asked to come back I've done it before so you know to come back you feel part of the family and then you've got new people like John Partridge who I've known for many many yes. years <laughs> but you know he's new so I hold his hand on day one and you know that those things are lovely and the fact that they have a constant change of um, cast in this show mm. it's great it keeps it alive it keeps it fresh um, and so yeah you know hopefully we'll all get together to meet each other at some point <laughs> but um, yeah I can't wait to work with John and Shona as well it's going to yes. be fantastic yeah absolutely I think it's just like a northern reunion to be honest yeah it is a bit yeah it is a bit <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So thank you so, so much, Hayley. Oh, thank um, you. We really appreciate it. And we can't, I, honestly, I know people who are coming for like the 10th time, the 11th time. Wow. And it is just one of those shows that um, is not only brilliant, but it, like you say, it means something yeah. to people. It, it really, really does. does. Yeah. So thank you so much. All the best with the tour. And we cannot wait to see you. Yay. Thank you. There's a clock on the wall, it's moving too slow. It's got hours to kill and a lifetime to go And I'm holding my breath till I hear the last bell Then I'm coming out hard and I'm giving him hell I got the dreams, I got the star I got the moves to make you smile To kiss my ass goodbye Cause I'm gonna be the one And when you're all like 32 You'll all remember Jamie Lou The kid